participation, leadership, and civic engagement, or PLACE, is County Board Chair Mary Hines' new initiative that will update the Arlington Way. And what is the Arlington Way? Well, all will be made clear in our next segment, I think. The Arlington Way. It is a... Um... That's a good question. Um... Well, you know, I think it's one of those cryptic things. It's a, a set of words that I've known for a long, long time. As far as I've been able to tell in the 30 years I've lived here, it means pretty much whatever the individual wants it to mean who's doing the speaking. Um, I've heard it described as democracy run amok, but that may be a little cynical. You know, depending on the complexity of the, of the process, whatever you encounter the first time becomes your sense of the Arlington Way. And if it happened quickly and got solved in a way you liked, then you have one idea. And if it took a really long time and the outcome was less clear cut, you might have a different perception of the Arlington Way. What's central to it, though, is that the citizen voice matters, um, that professional staff's point of view matters, that the board does ultimately make the decision, but that we use a process that brings this all together and brings it to a head in a way that doesn't discount either view is, is I think, common. Time, how you felt, all of that mm, can be totally different. <laughs> the beginning of the Arlington Way actually is, come, is the, the end of World War II when people who'd moved to this community decided to stay and to make it their own. PLACE stands for participation, leadership, and civic engagement. And my idea of where we're going is that we're remaking the Arlington Way. PLACE is an effort to put a little bit more specificity around it, that what worked in the 50s when we had 100,000 people who lived here and our government was much smaller and the world was lots less complex, it doesn't translate really well to, to 210,000 people and 200,000 jobs and people from 100 different countries who use social media all the time. And, and so this first phase of place where we're focusing on participation is an effort to map better all the ways that people affiliate here in our community and root themselves in place so that we can ask them questions, they can ask us questions, they can know about each other and make new connections, all of which strengthens the community. So participation is the base. Then you move to people who want to participate more, who are willing to step up to leadership, who see a problem and want to find a way to solve it, um, and are willing to take some risks. And in that area, I think that leadership is something that you can learn. But training isn't confined to residents. Starting last year, I introduced civic engagement training for employees. We wanted for staff, Barbara Donnell and our manager has decided that civic engagement training and skills needs to be part of the staff skill set. That's really important. That hasn't happened before. Then you can bring people together and say, on this particular issue, here's how we're going to proceed. What do you think? How can we do this best together? Do we have all the right people at the table? Do you have the information that you need? And you can set the front end of the process to answer those pieces of the question. When everybody's then kind of at a level playing field, that's when the work happens. to attract people who are interested. Whoever they are, whatever walk of life, whatever language they speak, whether it's a one-time deal because you're a busy person and you might want to do an internet survey or respond to some kind of other prompt, um, or you're somebody who's going to stick with us for you know the 10, 12, 15 meetings that it might take to get to conclusion. We want to hear from you. And in order to hear from as many people as possible, Mary Hines has launched Open Mondays. 
on Monday nights the county board members are out at one or another rec center or fire station, one of us goes and we're there from 7 to 9. No appointment necessary, just come on in and um, we've had as few as three and as many as 50 people show up on any, on any given Monday. With, um, some people come with long lists. Some people come and say, explain to me why you have this policy. Um, other people say, you know, I've been talking to my neighbor and we have this neighborhood problem, but we don't know what to do. Good ideas come from any place, and you just got to spot them and go, ah, that's the one, let's go. We have this incredible diversity. Why wouldn't we want it in our decision making? Why wouldn't we want it enriching the work that we do and leading us in places we might never have imagined? It's what's cool about Arlington. We're not 200 years old. We're this kid that keeps saying, show me this interesting thing around the corner. That's who we are. We have achieved a balance that makes Arlington one of the most desirable, livable communities in our nation. And I believe, and my colleagues believe, that we could not have done it without the Arlington Way. I hope that my grandkids can live here and that it is as exciting and vibrant a place when they're my age as it is now. And that we have managed to hold on to this you know, tension between urban and suburban that we have that is so fabulous and so rare. And if you'd like to get involved with PLACE, visit www.arlingtonplace.us.